So next what we need to do is we need to uh, load the Cynthia data set. So it's right now in a GitHub repository. So if we go to github.com slash i2v2, there's a i2v2 Cynthia uh, data set. In this uh, directory, there are six files. Um, 1B, 2B, 3B, 1A, 2A, 3A. And so the 1B goes with the 1A, the 2B goes with the 2B, and the 3B goes with the 3A. And so what you could do is you could create a three node shrine I to B2, and this could be hospital one, this could be hospital two, and this could be hospital three, or you could load this all into one I to B2 instance, which would then consist of 1.5 million fake patients with their corresponding data. In this example, I'm just going to download <clears throat> the third one and load that. Okay, so now we have two files and I'm going to unzip both of them. And I'm going to unzip the other one. Okay, so now that we unzip both of the files, now we need to load in these files into the database. And if we look, we have the observation fact and the patient dimension. Okay, so we're going to log into Postgres. Demo user. And so we're now. So you do a slash copy. And let's do the patient dimension work for us. Patient dimension from, and then the location of the file slash patient dimension. Okay, and then we need to specify that has a delimiter of a, a tab. So delimiter slash t. So slash t represents a tab. And it's um, basically a CSV type. So we hit return. And then it loads in the patients. And so I'm going to do that copy command again. So slash copy observation fact from and then the folder slash observation fact. Uh, I'm going to do the rest one to A. And then the delimiter is slash T for tab and then CSV. Okay, so the first one is done. So likewise, we'll just do it for the second one, B. So at this point, the data has all been loaded. The ontology has been loaded. So we need to start up. So we're doing Etsy Asia D init.d wildfly start. And this will start wildfly. We can verify that it's running by sudo tail 200 var log wildfly council and then we can go through and see that there was no errors which is good and so we can just we'll do a service httpd start we can start our service 